Hey Gearheads, Matt here, and today I'm standing in front of two icons. To my right, what's left of Harvey Convention Center here in Tyler, Texas. And on my left, this beautiful 2003 Ford Excursion Limited. And thanks to our friends at House of Cars, I get to share this beautiful rig with you today. Both of these have been dismantled. The difference is, Harvey's coming back. Hey gearheads, do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified every time we post a video. And if you want to check out some behind the scenes stuff before it is here on YouTube, go find us on Facebook and Instagram, both at GT Garage Talk. And everything we do, including our award-winning podcast, can be found at gtgaragetalk.com. As most of you know, I'm a bit of a Ford fan myself. And Ford Motor Company, as much as I like them, has had a few, let's call them flubs, over the years. From the Pinto, to the Mustang II, to even some more recent things like the hardtops on the Broncos. It happens. This, on the other hand, is about as close to perfection, in my opinion, as you can get. It's a family hauler, it's a work truck, it's four-wheel drive, it's three-quarter ton, it's diesel-powered, there are so many good things about this truck. I don't know why they don't continue making them. I don't know why they don't bring them back. Now this is my first opportunity to drive an actual excursion. I've driven the early 2000s three quarter ton trucks with the 7.3, with the 5.4, um, and I've, I've driven trucks with the V10s in them. All three of those engines are phenomenal. The engine in this particular truck, though, is not the 5.4, it's not the 7.3, although I wish it was. It's not the V10, which I would appreciate as well. This one has the 6 liter. And yes, the wrap sheet on the 6 liter is pretty long. However, if you leave them alone, if you're not hyping them up and pushing a bunch of tunes through them, the head gaskets do fine. This one, in particular, has 383,000 miles on it. They're not bad engines, they just have a bad wrap. I've had some experience with these particular engines. Several of the buses where I work also carry the same 365 cubic inch diesel. And on those engines, there is a terrible flat spot from about 1200 RPMs up to about 2500 RPMs. Yeah, it's a big range on an engine that only revs to about three grand. And it, it's, it's unfortunate on the buses especially because you load them up with kids and you put your foot on the floor and wait on something to happen. In this truck, however, now I haven't towed with it, but the way that this is geared, the way that this is tuned, you have power through the whole band. It's pulling through from 1200 RPM all the way up to 3500 RPM. So it does very well in this and I appreciate the tuning that Ford did on this particular engine and in this, and in this truck to kind of work out some of those kinks. Styling on this truck, follow suit with all the three quarter tons of the era. It's from this point forward, really even from about this point forward, it's a crew cab F-250. And that's a good thing. It means that all these panels are cheap. It means all the bits and pieces to put this thing back together, if something were to happen to it, it's fairly inexpensive. It carries the same drivetrain and frame rails and front suspension and rear suspension, I mean, this truck shares 90% of its components with the three quarter ton F-250 from Ford. It's a fairly inexpensive truck to keep up with. It's a fairly inexpensive truck to repair if needed. And uh, they look amazing. Obviously the biggest difference between the three quarter ton pickups and this one happens behind this door. And that's this big cavity back here. Now, it does a few things, obviously. It closes in the back of the truck, but it also allows for a third row, which in this truck, if you option it right, you can carry nine people in this thing. Nine. Yeah. A bench seat across the front, which is almost non-existent in today's day, a bench seat across the middle, and a third row bench seat, room enough 
genuinely for three adults back there across the back row. And then you've got room to put all your junk behind that. So it's pretty impressive what this rig can do. You couple that with the 11,000 pound tow rating and you have a truck that will carry you and your family and your camper wherever you wanna go. Moving inside this truck, you have lots of standard features on the Limited especially. Up front, you've got two very comfortable captain's chairs with armrests, and I love the flip down armrests. Please, more manufacturers, bring the armrests back. <laughs> These make a huge difference when you're kicked back, cruising down the highway, even when you're negotiating traffic in town, having somewhere to put your elbow makes a world of difference. This truck being the limited trim, you get a couple of features that you wouldn't get on the lower trims. Now you can still get leather on the XLT, but on this one it comes with this sweet limited stitching here in the seat. It comes with the center console with the wood grain, wood grain in it. Also over here on the door trim, you get heated front seats, you get power adjustable, and there are two set, uh, presets over here for different drivers. That's a nice feature. You get cruise control on the steering wheel as well as audio and climate control on the steering wheel. Let's move to the second row. <clears throat> it's almost not fair the amount of space in the second row on this truck. Ford, for a long time, has been known for the amount of leg room, the amount of headroom that is the back row or the second row on their trucks. The Excursion is no exception. Even with features like the fold down armrest with cup holders built in, you've got cup holders here in front of you, uh, radio and volume control here, climate control up here, and even a DVD player with the controls on the other side. This is a nice, nice place to be. The seats are a little stiffer than the front row, but I could spend hours back here and never know it. This is incredibly comfortable, incredibly well done, and everything's leather back here, just like in the front row. You can access the third row a couple of ways. One is pulling the handle, flips the back of the seat forward, and you can step in the back back there. The other is, you pull this handle, the seat bottom flips forward, pull in that one, and once the headrest is out of the way, this lays almost completely flat. It also has these nice flaps that will lay over on the uh, third row and makes one big flat space back here Maybe beautiful is a strong word, but have you seen this thing? Okay, not necessarily this one specifically. Obviously, it's got some blemishes. It's also got 383,000 miles on it. But what other truck, what other full-size SUV can you trust at 383,000 miles? I'll give you a second. Yeah, none of them except this one. This one happens to be, in 2003, powered by a 6-liter Power Stroke turbo diesel. And, yeah, I know, not everybody likes diesels. I get that. There are other engine options. In the grand scheme of things, the 6-liter is probably my least favorite engine for this truck. Because, to be honest, it's not a great engine. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It does good things, um, but it seemed like a step backwards for Ford. They went from that massive 444 cubic inch, 7.3 liter turbo diesel power stroke to this six liter. I mean, almost a liter and a half of engine less 
It's still got eight cylinders. It's still turbocharged. It's still a pushrod V8. But why? To what end? The power numbers are down. The torque numbers are down. It just doesn't make that much sense. However, as I mentioned, there are other engine options in this truck. So the Ford Excursion ran from 2000 to 2005. Mexico got an extra year in 2006. The engine options were the 5.4 V8 gasoline engine that Ford has had for a long time. Thankfully, it is now dead. The 6.8 liter, yeah, I said that right, 6.8 liter V10 from Ford, which, by the way, has more horsepower than the 7.3 and the 6 liter in this truck. And then for the first two years, the 7.3, which is the one that everybody wants, right? The 7.3 is the popular diesel engine from Ford. And it's for good reason. It's a good engine. It does a lot of things really well. The 6 liter came around in 2003 for the Ford Excursion. So this is a first year truck for that motor. It's not bad. It runs good. 383,000 miles on this one and it fired right up and purrs like a kitten. Well, maybe a loud snoring kitten, but you get the idea. It is a diesel. Now, the reason for the varied engine options in this truck uh, originate with the chassis. This is a three-quarter ton, essentially an F-250 chassis. Yeah, it's a big truck. And I love that about it. <laughs> Basically everything from this point forward is F-250 and it's spectacular. Solid front axle, four wheel drive, big monster engines up front. It does so many things. And oh, by the way, you can option this particular truck with a bench seat up front. Yeah, a bench seat, a bench seat in the middle row and another bench seat behind the middle row. That makes this truck a nine passenger optioned vehicle. This one in particular is the Limited, which comes with the leather trim. It comes with some wood grain stuff, this nice center console, which I do appreciate and I like. It also comes with some other creature comforts like the DVD player, the climate control for the rear. It has heated seats. It's got like six or seven way adjustable uh, electric adjustable seats up front. Because this is a truck based SUV, you get a lot of nice features like selectable four, selectable four wheel drive with a true two speed transfer case. So this has two wheel drive, four high and four low. And it has lockable hubs on the front axle, you know, to help with the fuel economy. But it does mean that for a nine passenger full-size SUV, it also means you can haul. And I don't mean but because it's not fast necessarily. Not only can you haul up to nine people in this rig when optioned right, you can also haul up to 11,000 pounds with this rig. Now. I understand we have half ton trucks now that will do 11,000 pounds, but this is a 20 year old truck, 18, but a 20 year old truck essentially. And 11,000 pounds 20 years ago was a lot. And I promise you, you'll never know it's back there. Because one thing that Ford did do really right on the six liter and on the 7.3 was give it loads and gobs of torque with a curb weight of, get this, 7,680 pounds. This is nuts. It's massive. It's huge. It's ridiculous. And I love it. Diesel trucks are not known for revving. And this one is no exception. It, it, it redlines, it says it redlines at uh, about 4,200 RPM, but put your foot down and it doesn't come anywhere near there. It ships at about 3,500, which is fine. And it, it motivates pretty well. You put your foot down and it'll go. Uh, 
uh, it's certainly not pushing you back in your seat or, or running away from you or anything like that, but it holds its own pretty well. And it has to in order to pull 11,000 pounds. So what's the point? Why did Ford make this truck and then five years later kill it? What, what created the Ford Excursion to start with and what killed the Ford Excursion in no time? Because, to be honest, it's spectacular. It's amazing. It is a people hauler with the capability of hauling all of your junk, too. Uh, people who camp on a regular basis, if they have a camper, good grief. If you're towing your boat to the lake every weekend, this is perfect. And if you have more than two children, or the 2.4 or 2.5 children that uh, Americans have, this is great because you can spread them out in the back, load all your crap behind them, and go to the lake. So what was it that killed this truck? Well, to be honest, it's a little excessive. And I know we Americans, we like our excess, right? But this one might even be a little over the top from our typical. There were already trucks out like the Expedition, the Suburban, the Durango, like lots of already really big trucks by the time the excursion came along and by the time the excursion was killed off. When Ford first released this truck, they sold over 50,000 units the first year. 7.3, V10, four-wheel drive, nine-passenger, heavy haul, three-quarter ton SUV. What's not to like? But by the time 2005 rolled around, they sold just over 16,000 units that year, and they had already decided to kill off this truck. They just weren't moving like Ford expected them to. And frankly, like I expected them to. I think if there were to be a re-release of this truck now, it would sell like hotcakes. The 6.7 that Ford has had for about 10 years now has been perfected over the years. Uh, it, it has some issues to start out with, but right now, it's a good engine. The new 7.3, not the 444 from the Power Stroke days, but the new one, the gasoline 445 cubic inch engine, also known as Godzilla, uh, would be absolutely incredible in an excursion now. The three quarter ton platform is alive and well. Ford is selling trucks like nobody's business. Why not close in the back of it, add a third row, and be able to haul? To me, it makes a lot of sense. But to the bean counters at Ford, maybe it doesn't. If you're in the market for a people hauling three quarter ton, nine passenger, diesel powered, four wheel drive, monster of a truck, you should definitely start here. Start with this truck because honestly, it does everything it was designed to do incredibly well. Plenty of room for up to nine people. Plenty of power for up to 11,000 pounds of towing. Honestly, for what you're getting, for the investment that this truck is, it's top notch. Yeah, I mean, this one in particular has got some wear and things like that, but oh my goodness. For the value, for the capability, Nothing else out there comes close. Genuinely, nothing else out there comes anywhere close to what this truck can do. And I love it. <laughs> I want an excursion really bad. If you're in the East Texas area and you're in the market for a used vehicle, talk to the guys over at House of Cars. They can get you hooked up with whatever your heart desires. My heart at the moment desires this excursion. If you want to beat me to it, <laughs> go talk to the guys over at House of Cars and see what they can do for you on this 2003 Ford Excursion Limited 4x4 with the 6 liter turbo diesel. For me, I would love to see a three quarter ton 
7.3 Godzilla gasoline engine powered, four wheel drive, nine passenger excursion come back into production. It would be incredible, especially with the tech and the capability that our three quarter ton trucks have now. Good grief. It would be absolutely amazing. And I think it would dominate. I think it would sell incredibly well. If you've enjoyed this review, be sure to like and comment below. If you want to see more from us, be sure and subscribe so you never miss an upcoming video. If you want to see what we're doing in between videos, go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And everything can be found at gtgaragetalk.com, including our podcast. Until next time, bye.